I'm here with Christy McAllister, the director of this year's homecoming musical, Little Mermaid. Thank you for joining me. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So tell me a little bit about why Little Mermaid was chosen as this year's homecoming musical. Well, I think the Oklahoma Christian always likes to choose a show that is going to be very family friendly and bring in a lot of people and something they enjoy. And Little Mermaid's a classic. I mean, everybody knows it. Everybody loves it. So I think it was a great choice for the musical this year. In fact, I heard we're almost sold out already for both Friday and Saturday. So that's that's really exciting. How has this year's cast risen to the challenge of performing a musical like this? They have really impressed me this year. We had a lot of underclassmen coming in, which can kind of be a little scary because they're learning all the ropes, um, especially of just being in college for the freshmen and then also having a show on top of that because they do work a lot of hours. I mean, we do rehearsal from Sunday to Thursday, 7 to 11, and then on Wednesdays we don't start till 8.30 but it gets really crazy um, with their scheduling. But they have been great. They have shown up at time, on time. They've memorized all of their lines um, and their music, and they've just really taken the work on themselves, and I could not be more proud of them. Awesome. So as director, how do you feel seeing the progress they've made from the start of when they first started practicing to now in its final form? Um, it, it happened. I like every show there's always like, is this really going to come together? Like there's always this moment like, is it really gonna get off the ground? And it always does, it always does. Um, but I from the beginning I saw the end and I knew they were gonna rise to the challenge and even take a step further. And so I mean they've just been so incredible, they've grown so much, and I think they really bonded too as a family, which I think is really fun. That's my favorite part of the show is you become a family while you're doing it because you're just with each other all the time. So all the backstage jokes that they have going on, it's really fun. So, and what would you say to encourage students to attend a performance? Um, I mean, I think for the majority of students, hopefully Little Mermaid was something that they grew up with. I knew for sure it was for me. Um, whenever Ariel and I were going through part of your world, I was like, this was my childhood song. This is what I grew up loving. And um, she's taken such good care of it. She's made it really, really her own, but also kept it classic at the same time. So it's just going to be a fun night, a good night. It's also really fun to see the classic movie have a few extra tidbits in it. Um, everybody loves Chef Louie in the film and his, you know, trying to cook Sebastian. And that has, in the Broadway version, gotten just a little more finesse and there's a little more um, to it. So it's really a funny number. So I think there's just little extra things for them to see that they should come see the show. Has your script kind of stayed true to the Disney movie, or have you kind of added your own twist to it? Yes and no. So, I mean, we're staying to the Broadway version of what has been written, but when they wrote the Broadway version, they kept a lot of the classic lines, like, uh, somebody's got to pin her nails to the floor, so on and so forth. But um, they've given Triton a larger role. They also have linked Ursula and Triton as siblings. So there's more of a backstory there, which makes it really more intriguing and interesting, it gives it a more depth than the movie does. Um, so really there's a lot more backstory in the musical. Awesome. Is there anything else that you want to add? Um, I have had so much fun doing this. It's been a blast. The crew and the cast have been amazing. I am just so excited and so proud. We have worked so hard to pull this show together and I think it would be sad to miss. <laughs> so for sure, come enjoy it laugh, cry, feel all the emotions. It's going to be a good one. Well, thank you for joining me. For Eagle Angle, I'm Becca Kishorek.